Top flight football is the realization of a dream. But to fulfill the ambition of playing for your boyhood team is heaven. Lorenzo Insigne is in paradise. Naples is the most beautiful city in the world. We have everything. Sun, sea, delicious food available anywhere you go. My love for Naples is a result of where I was born, a small little town on the edge of Naples. I grew up there in a big family, and a lot of my family still live there. However, I've rarely gone back since making it to Serie A with Napoli, but I have great memories of my hometown. Every part of his life has been influenced by love for the club. When I was younger, I got a dog and decided to call him Pocho. Because in those days, El Pocho was one of the stars of a really good Napoli side. Ezequiel El Pocho Lavezzi was part of the Partenope frontline that frightened defences across Europe under the guidance of Walter Mazzari, who's now back in the Bel Paese in charge of Torino, third placed Napoli's opponents this weekend. Had Insigne been just a few inches taller, Turin could have been his home too. Before I joined Napoli, I had trials at Torino and Inter, but I was always dismissed because I was too short. I had considered giving up, but my desire and passion were too strong. I wanted to make it as a professional footballer, and now I'm here. Gulab. Insigne with a turn, and what a goal! I've made a lot of sacrifices because I never wanted to study. I come from a big family and my father didn't earn enough to maintain us all. So my mother said, if you don't want to study, you have to help the family out and get a job. I used to wake up at five or six in the morning and go to work as a peddler. Then in the afternoon, I used to go to train. Sometimes I'd fall asleep in the dressing room and the coach had to come and wake me up. One piece of advice I can give is never give up. If you have a dream, never give up on it. Never stop dreaming. In life, everything is possible. So never say never.